Long time no see. How's it going? Sorry about my absence. Um, I don't have a good excuse. I've just been busy. I've had plenty of requests to break down the drum tone, the drum sound that I use in some of my songs. So, um, I have a new song that is written, guitars are recorded, pretty much mixed, it's ready for vocals. So what I'm going to do is play some of it, give you guys A, a little bit of a preview of what's to come, kind of break down what I'm doing with Superior Drummer and how I get my sound. So without further ado, so as you can see, we have Superior Drummer 3. I have my own preset saved. So if you have Superior Drummer 3, I based my drum tone, my drum preset, my template off of the, um, I'm pointing and you can't see what I'm pointing at. So right here, where my mouse is, small snare punch, that is the uh, preset I built off of. I added EQ to my kick. Wow, that's extreme. You can see I'm rolling off a lot of the low end. It was so boomy. More rolling off. A little bit of multiband. Like I said, most of this stuff may have been in place. I basically just, as I was mixing, began to tweak some of this. And I'm, I'm almost certain I changed almost all of these symbols out. Along with adding some of the snares. The cool thing about Superior, as many of you may know, is that you can stack drums. So, I mean, this is this is four snares. So we got... Boom. There's the body of that thing. You could probably get away with just two of them. Um, that's what we ended up with here. Somebody far more talented at um, building drum kits and the drum sounds built that preset. And like I said, I just made it my own. I don't know that I did much as in the way of routing. I just changed levels. I, I, I like I said, use your ears. That's what I did. Um, I will make this, this preset available. You will have to have... I feel like you might have to have the Metal Foundry, but don't quote me on that. But I will make it available nonetheless. So let's listen to what it sounds like soloed. All right, now there's a little bit more going on. I have my drums on one channel, then I have it going to a um, another bus where I do some parallel compression. So what I have going here is we got the Slate Virtual Mix Rack and then I have the FG stress. So here, I'll unsolo this. So you, and now you're just going to hear Superior Drummer 3 and everything we did inside of Superior Drummer 3. Now, if I unmute that channel and add in my parallel, this is what we're doing.
so as you may or may not be able to hear, it's really bringing everything up front. Um, let's see if we can listen to that alone. As you can see by itself, it really does sound like absolute garbage. Um, but what it's doing is it's extending that snare crack, making that room and that reverb sound even larger. It's washing the cymbals, which might sound a little harsh, but I think sounds pretty decent in the mix. And it's slamming that kick. So all together again. Now, I also have some pro Q happening just on my parallel compression channel. So I'm taking off some of that harshness that, that's brought out with the compression as far as the cymbals go. Because I'm compressing the whole kit. Um, a, excuse me. A proper mix engineer will A, have all these drums recorded somewhat individually, your kick, your snare, your toms, overheads, rooms, etc. Um, I'm doing everything basically. Superior is bussing everything out to a stereo channel. And I'm, you know, parallel compressing the whole kit, everything. So that ended up bringing a lot of harshness in regards to the cymbals and a lot of boominess in regards to the kick. So I did a high pass and a low pass. So let's see what that's doing. And we'll listen to just that alone, just the parallel compression. It's off. So yeah, you can hear um, it's really getting rid of a lot of the harshness from the cymbals. And that parallel compression is basically to just give some added um, girth and, and crack to the snare and some depth to the, to the kick. Now I have been, and some of you may know, the guys that get good drums came out with a, um, a compressor, their own compressor. And I've been doing a little experimenting with that. Um, so what I did was try to get it to sound like my settings just with the compressor. And it actually turned out pretty good. So I will play um, a chunk with my settings and then I'll switch and we'll use smash and grab and see how that sounds. I just got this. So now let's listen to Smash and Grab. Let's just listen to those drums. Just as, this is so what I did is I moved smash and grab before that filter to still filter out some of the really low low end and that harsh high end.
I feel like with the settings I have right now, the virtual mix rack has a little more low end and thud happening, so I might add a little bit of the beef in to see what that sounds like. Sounds pretty badass. Let's listen to it in context. That's Smash and Grab. This is Virtual Mix Rack. That really, huh, really brought the drums forward, and I didn't even have to mess with the levels much. So this may end up being the winner. But the point is, I have my preset, my template within Superior Drummer 3. I have it going out to a bus with a parallel smash, parallel compression. And then I have both of those going to my main drum bus. So that has, let's see if this, I have the, the slate, um, the VBC, the FG red, I believe it's a, that's a, based on a focus, right? Compressor. I may be wrong. Um, let's see what it's doing. If anything. <laughs> just kissing that compressor and uh, while it was mixing I feel like it just did something I may have accidentally put it on there but it, I feel like it just kind of kind of uh, helped the drums kind of meld together a little bit so I have that and then I have virtual tape machine again this is on my main drum bus <laughs> Makes it a little more lively. Uh, I hope you guys can hear what I'm hearing. Um, and then I send my main drum bus out to my stereo bus. And that's it. That's what I do. Um, I do some version of that on every song. And um, with my project, The Partisan Component, with my buddy Jeff, I've used the same drum template for all of them. Um, as the songs have gone on, I've done a little tweaking to try and get them to sound better. But this is what we're using right now, and, and I may end up using this smash and grab on this one. Because it's just def it's definitely doing something and just bringing those drums a little more forward. Um, so as far as drums, guys, that's, that's really it. Um, if you have any more questions, feel free to shoot them my way. Like I said, I'm not super great at mixing drums, so to have something like Toontrack Superior Drummer, um, it's such a an amazing tool for somebody like me who just wants to come in and get riffs recorded. You can drag and drop MIDI. Uh, MIDI parts, as you guys know, they have tons of MIDI libraries. Um, they're tap, they're, they're featured to like find I don't know if, here, I'll just show you guys real quick. 
So you can go to group tap to find. This is just amazing. Well, I mean, if you can tap to fucking time. I tapped him some weird ass shuffle because, you know, I don't have a MIDI keyboard right now. And uh, there's a little bit of latency because of all the fun recording stuff that's happening. So what it does is it bases it off of that. Ah, terrible examples. This is the worst example of that feature of this product that anybody could have ever done. So disregard. It works great, I, I assure you. There's my drums. It sounds great. I will play a little bit of this song that we're working on. I'm going to try and make a little bit of a series um, based around this song. So um, here's the drums. That's the drum sound that we're using on this song. Um, like I said, it's all laid out, ready to record. I have a guest guitar player coming in to do a solo. And... Uh, Hopefully I'll do I'm, I'm, I have plans to document the vocal recording process and kind of show you guys how one of our songs, one of my songs, one of the partisan component songs comes together. Um, so hopefully that's something that's interesting. So let's listen to a little chunk of this song, shall we? I will unsolo this and we'll play the whole song. Well, all the sounds. <laughs> Um, this song came together kind of after several weeks, several agonizing weeks of writer's block. And, um, oddly enough, I decided to kind of take myself off of social media. So I had nothing but time on my hands, more time on my hands to focus on the things I wanted to focus on. And then lo and behold, I started riffs started coming out, whether or not they're good. That's yet to be seen, but this is what came out of it. Um, and yeah, I'll try and take you guys along for the ride. Um, any suggestions for videos regarding this song so far, um, leave them in the comments. And I really appreciate all the new subscribers I've got. I've, I've had nothing, honestly, you guys have been great. I've had nothing but positive feedback in regards to the videos. And, um, even in my absence, still got a lot of good comments, a lot of good questions. And I'm gonna try... I'm not going to try. I will. I'll, I'll get back into the swing of things, and, and we'll at least try and get a video a week, one video a week, if not more, um, just based on the interest. If you guys are interested in this stuff, I love teaching um, what I know and sharing uh, the knowledge that I've gained over the years. So by all means, ask away, and I will try and get and, and get to every request possible. So uh, until then, I will see you guys in the next one.